G'day guys, welcome to the Canopy Build Series. So behind me is the new canopy ready to go. Current state, as you can see there, it's already been painted ready to go. So let's jump back a little bit and show you the process of getting it painted, ready for fit out. So I'll give you a quick little rundown on what the plan is with this thing. So basically, at the moment it's an empty box. Have got the upright little Bushman fridge, the jerry can holder on the back, spare wheel holder on the other side, and I am going to mount a little four and a half kilo gas bottle holder in the middle on the back. Otherwise, this side over here, we're gonna have a outboard loader in the back corner. Other than that, everything else is completely undecided so far. Obviously, the front will be fitted out with all the electrical stuff, probably some drawers or something here with a platform, charging station, and then who knows, whatever else. So for now, anyway, I'm gonna throw this thing on the trailer, take it across to the paint shop. They're gonna start prepping it today. We're gonna color code it to the car to try and match everything in. God, I'm excited. This is going to be so cool. Alrighty, so we just arrived at the paint shop. We just got it lifted up off the trailer, brought out the little trolley. So we're just going to drive out, roll it down on the trolley, wheel it into the shop, start getting it ready for some paint. Doing here, we're just doing a little spectro test on the, to get try and get the colour. Measuring away. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. The battery's all right. Four, five, five, oh, I can see it. Yeah. There we go. Cool. So how does that work, Neil? That just it just it'll give me the best variant for that. Right. Let's see, look at the colour on the Isuzu. Yep. On the Isuzu. Then yeah. that way we can match the new canopy exactly the same as that one. As that one. Beautiful. Thank cool. you, mate. All right, too easy. Yeah, so it's all prepped. Ready to go, handles are out, the whole lot's been rubbed back. All ready to slide it in the booth. Wowza, have a go at this thing. I think the LED lights are flickering and, and playing with the camera, but this is looking pretty schmicko. Very nice. In the process of getting a four and a half kilo uh, gas bottle holder for the middle there. Um, spare wheel. Tinny's gonna go on the top. So we're just gonna make up a small little boat loader. I've got a little electric winch so I'm gonna mount on the front. Ready to hoist that up, make up some rolls and stuff for the back. So the business side, it's obviously got 85 litre Bushman upright free. Do a little upright pantry sort of thing. Got a water tank, a little 40 litre water tank. They're gonna try and modify a little bit. Take it around the other side. So this side here is going to accommodate the outboard. Uh, obviously, like I said, Tinny's going to have to go on the top. Need somewhere to store the outboard. This side here, once this is all nice and snug up the front, then there'll be one massive big drawer here. Slide out with a big platform on the top, up against the back of the fridge, and then the electrical fit out up here. A little bit of a rack or a shelf or something up here to store the chairs and table or whatnot up here. Uh, but otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, so I got a little bit carried away and I didn't actually film any of what I was doing to start with. So I've got a heap of panels cut, ready for the fridge box and the pantry. A few vent holes drilled out. So the fridge to vent out off. A few vent holes for this side. And then the back panel that's gonna go across the whole lot. Just cut that whole square out so that the fan can suck through. Well, let's get these box put together, see how she goes. We've got the guts of this side all basically complete, ready to start cutting some drawers up. So the opening for the fridge is all done. Nice big vent hole at the back, some vent holes to go into the side of the pantry. Uh, so this side here, we're gonna have a deep drawer and then underneath it will just be a flat drawer to slide out under that as a little table. And then just some storage up here. I'll put a couple of little tie down rails or something on here just to put bigger items and whatever. Okay. So the back drawer is all fitted in there now. I've got um, some runners mounted underneath that on some alley angle. I'm sure that will slide out like so. And then underneath here, I'll get a bit of like a little stainless steel bench bent up. They're not in yet. 
but then they'll come out like that as well. It's gonna be a nice little table at the end. So just started making up the pantry, Got the top and the bottom cut in there, runner's mouse is ready to go. Couple of panels, so these panels it's probably a little bit difficult to see, especially with the flickering in the lights, but got all these marked out ready for um, where the shelves are gonna go in here, and then I was gonna cut the side panels out. Probably drill some hole saws in the corner just to keep it nice and round. Couple of panels ready to go. So we've got all the pieces laid out for the pantry. Just gonna try and remember which part of the jigsaw puzzle goes where. Um, but yeah, she's all cut out, sanded it up, ready to go. I think, I, don't know, I can't really remember which bit was which actually. Top, bottom, side, shelves, back, front, whatever. So I'll set this up, and we'll do a little time lapse putting it all together. Update, just getting a bit excited. I just want to show you this. So, this drawer, first drawer will slide out, lock in there, and then obviously, once we've got the little stainless steel bit made up, then the table will slide out from there. Slide the pantry out, look at this thing. How sick is that? That's actually come up a lot better than I thought. So, the door on the fridge is actually, it's probably It'll still work, but I think it's hinged the wrong way. Um, it did come with a little kit to be able to actually swap it over. I uh, just haven't got around to it yet. So, but anyway, that's basically that's it. That's what it's going to look like. So all the front of these, down yeah, the front of the um, front of the pantry, the front of the drawer, going to carpet everything. Everything else that's sort of tucked in behind it, I probably won't carpet. I'll just paint it black so it all matches. But anyway, let's get stuck into the other side. Now that all the pieces for the drawers have been made, it's time to pull everything back out and prep it all ready for carpet. Caitlin and Willie have come around to give me a hand to try and put some carpet on. Don't know if the process is going to be very easy. There's lots of doggy footprints all over the carpet already. We've got one big piece for the kitchen side. So to start on the back and then we'll wrap it up over the top and then tuck it just underneath where the fridge is going to go. And then we'll cut the top section here, and then that can also fold across the top, wrap around under the drawers, and see so yeah, so how we go with that. All right, this is a very time consuming process. So I've got to sell his quick grip to vertical joint, so it's basically a non drip gel. Um, and as you can see in the tub, it is absolutely sticky as. So by the time you force it all around, 
it takes a while. So the process is to paint it on both surfaces. So I paint it all over the box and then on the back of the carpet as well. On the instructions, it does say to leave it for 20 minutes to let it go tacky and then put it on, but I don't think I'm gonna need to leave it that long because the plywood is sort of sucking a bit of the moisture out of it. So might give it five um, and then have a crack at trying to put it on. piece on but rookie mistake it's used a hell of a lot more glue than I thought and I've already gone through one tin and these are like 40 bucks for a litre so I just want to try and get just enough to fold these two little edges over and then I might have to make a trip to Bunnings okay so we've just made a quick trip to Bunnings got a, another tub of quick grip um, Caitlin's had to take off she's got a photo shoot this afternoon taking some photos Put a little link down here. This is Caitlin's little photography thing if anyone wants to check it out. So, just me and Willie Dog. So, we're gonna continue trying to stick a bit of carpet on. All these edges, we're gonna try and wrap around nice and tight, fold that down, put some more pieces to stick on the side. So I've got the whole kitchen side finished up now. Got the, all the boxes completely wrapped, the front of the drawers, and it just, it actually looks sick. It's a lot better than I thought. Um, this drawer, just wrapped down the sides. Everything that you don't see when it's closed, I'm just gonna paint black, because it's just a waste of carpet, and it takes bloody ages. But that one looks a bit sick. Um, the only one I'm not 100% happy with, the pantry, it's pretty bloody tight down the sides. But I'm hoping that once it slides in and out a few times that it'll just wear in, but at least it's nice and tight and it's not gonna bounce around too much on the corrugations. And the fridge fits pretty well perfect. So nice and snug down all the sides, across the top. Done, happy days, that looks Cheers for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next episode as we continue the fit out ready for the next big adventure.